Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, the snow tracker, I'm going to use this all morning. Uh, I don't use it often. I use it when I think there's going to be snow. Last couple rounds, I didn't use it. And, you know, we had a mix, melting, so this time, not so much. Uh, now, this is the first round. There might be some melting this evening. This is late today. I'm thinking mostly this evening for a mix, a wintry mix. Could impact the evening commute. So there will be some melting. I do think there'll be a little bit of light accumulations on some grassy areas, but I think the roads will be okay. They're going to be wet roads. Temperatures will be above freezing. It's round two that I'm concerned about, that we're all really concerned about. 90% chance for accumulating snow. This is Friday afternoon going into Saturday morning early. Roads, businesses, travel all going to be impacted. We'll see uh, several inches of snow. Do some preps. Get out the snow shovels. You know, maybe they're packed away in the shed. Maybe you haven't used them in a while. Uh, you get the snow brushes for the vehicles. I just got those out last night. Gas up your vehicle. Maybe your generator. There could be some power outages. There may be a little bit of iciness, and that can knock down a couple of power lines in some of the area. More on that in a moment. And plan for some bad roads as we go into uh, Friday night and Saturday morning. Uh, could be, you know, pretty rough. So we've got high pressure moving out. We've got this cold front, strong cold front moving in. That is going to drop our temperatures today. I mean, right now, temps are in the 40s. We're going to pop up to close to 50, and then temps will drop to the 30s by the end of the day. So you kind of get a sense of that here. Here's the afternoon forecast. Temperatures dropping. Uh, by 6 p.m., temperatures around the mid-30s, low 30s north of the metro. And then tomorrow, high temperatures in the upper 20s on the model. I'm going with about 30. So get ready for that cold air to just sink in and stick around. A couple of sprinkles departing the Outer Banks. Most of our precips back to the west. Let's track it. Let's go through time and see what's going to happen here. Got the temperatures thrown in. So we're in the 40s, probably again popping up to close to 50 by about midday. Rain showers come in in the afternoon. This model just updated a little bit ago too, by the way. North of Hampton Roads, maybe around Gloucester, Williamsburg, you might see a mix. Probably melting at first, but then maybe it doesn't mix or uh, melt for a while. Maybe it does stick for a time. Uh, but in Hampton Roads, 6 o'clock, we get that mix. Most of that should melt. Rain showers from Virginia Beach to the south. Then it changes over to some brief snow and then moves out. Dry weather for Friday morning, maybe some iciness in here, North Carolina, that's possible, maybe near the state line. That could be a problem. And then we get the snow to come up from the south in the afternoon. Temperatures will be in the 20s, so that means whatever falls is going to stick. Tomorrow, whatever falls is going to stick. We get accumulations in here. Here's 11 o'clock at night. This will be the, the, probably the worst of the storm Friday night and then wrapping up going into Saturday morning. So we get that snow in here, then finally it's gone, and maybe a couple of flurries left over after that point. The GFS model is a little more timid. It does have that snow tonight, but not that much this, in the afternoon on Friday, and then it kind of moves it out quickly. So by Saturday morning, 5 to 9 a.m., it's more of a mix in light snow, and then it's done. So it's got lighter amounts. Varying amounts here on the models. The GFS did come up a little bit, about three to five inches of snow. Uh, the NAM model now about four or five inches, and this one came down big time. It was about a foot, now about six, seven, eight, maybe nine inches of snow, and the Euro is pretty close to that. So what do you do? Well, you play the middle ground, and right now I think we're looking at about two to four inches peninsula northward, four to seven in the white area. That is for the south side down to parts of North Carolina, maybe some iciness in there too near the state line. Now, uh, this may be, if you get that wind out of the north, sometimes it knocks down your amounts in Virginia Beach. We'll see about that. Uh, boating forecast, I was working on that. Small craft advisory, it's accurate, but uh, yeah, we don't need that today. I doubt anybody's going to be on a boat except for Coast Guard. Scattered showers out there today. Wintry mix late. Temperatures falling into the 30s. Tonight, we'll have a wintry mix changing to brief snow, then mostly cloudy, lows in the 20s. Tomorrow, we've got high temperatures uh, near 30 degrees. Snow developing, and that goes into Friday night and Saturday morning.